My name is Rita Oji and uh, I'm a computer science professor here at the Hausa University. My research is in the area of human-computer interaction. Persuasive technology, uh, in a very nutshell, has to do with designing interactive systems to promote desired behavior change. Think about things like helping people to promote their mental health, promoting physical activity, helping people to manage anxiety and stress. I am trying to see how do we design these systems to make them more effective. Most of the designs right now are actually designed and hope that people would adapt to learn how the technology works. How do we personalize persuasive technologies and behavior change systems? There are so many things that make people different from one another. How would I design these systems to make sure they reflect the reality of each person? Think about designing for kids versus designing for old people. Think about designing for someone in Canada versus designing for someone in Africa. Research has shown there are so many factors that could influence the way people think that their system should work. Most of the research has been focused on trying to use subjective data, which is more like uh, trying to give people questionnaire to understand different factors that influence them. But we're trying to see, are there some other ways that we can get objective data from people, including how they react to the system, their physiological signals and stuff like that, and use it to personalize the system. The big deal here is that if we can actually make technology understand people and adapt to suit the people, it will be more effective. I mean, it's fascinating to me for many reasons because of the likelihood of making an impact in an area that is very important to Oman and to Canada and to Nova Scotia. And it's also have that likelihood of impacting the way the world look at mental health and treat it. And I mean, I'm just so much excited about the impact it's going to make in people's life.